Hi everybody, Mike Gertis here from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with a Love Note. You know, one of the great things about tuning in to this channel, one of the great things about tuning in to our center, one of the great things about coming to our classes is our spiritual leader, Reverend Dr. Maxine Kay. She's been teaching a class on Tuesday nights called The Gentle Art of the the gentle art of blessing. And it's been phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, she's really amazing a teacher and a great speaker too. So make sure you get a chance. I know this Sunday uh, I'll be speaking, but the following Sunday she'll be speaking. And whenever you get a chance to hear her, see her, take one of her classes, do it. Um, she's the best. Anyway, what I have learned is that blessing for me is the best way I have to be able to forgive other people and forgive myself. Now, I've long heard that it's important to forgive. Okay, I get that. I understand that when we don't forgive somebody, we block our good. We don't do anything to them, but we block our good from coming to us. I get that. And I get, and I've, tr I've done various forms of affirmations and, and some of them have worked pretty well, and some of them just don't quite get there. Have you ever ran into somebody in your life that you just uh, have a real problem forgiving? I have. Uh, a few years ago, an incident occurred, and I just, I got so angry. I cut off everything to do with that person. And uh, I tried to go through the idea of forgiveness. But you know what? It didn't really work. I could say I forgave, but I didn't. You know, within your heart, if you really forgive somebody or not. And then Dr. Maxine's got this class. And I started listening to this class, listening to the, what was in the book. And I started trying it. I started blessing this person. I started blessing them, their family, their, their, their relationships, their employment, their health, their finances. I started blessing everything about them. And you know, something amazing happened. I had a shift in my own consciousness. I had a shift of my own consciousness that I found myself picking up the phone and calling this individual. Now that was amazing, totally amazing. Because before this blessing class, I would have never done that. I was like adamant. I would never, never, ever talk to that person again. I'd die first. But you know what? They answered and we started communicating. Now, I can't say that we're all bed, it's all a bed of roses at this time, but we're in the process of creating a, a new relationship. And I believe that this is largely due to the fact that this blessing works. Blessing for me is the best way I have to change my consciousness and to really create newness in my life. Subsequently, I found myself being able to bless people at the motor vehicles when I went in to get my license and it made things a lot easier a lot better I bless people that I meet in the street I bless people I meet while I'm driving I bless people at the gas station it's just feels good and you know what there's there's a a, a, a fluid a, a there's a flow of positive energy between us and the people I bless. Well, I got to tell you that you folks are a blessing to Dr. Maxine and myself. And we bless you all the time. You may not know it, but you are close to our hearts and we care about you. And if you ever need something, uh, our phone numbers are in the on the web page. You can give us a shot, give us a call or email us. And we'd love to talk to you. Know you are loved and know that you are a blessing to us and to
to the whole world. Bye-bye now.